Hello YouTube friends. On this episode of husband and wife go to autocross in separate cars. Um, it was a fun day. Got to hang out with a lot of friends. Um, it is the first time that I actually had a chance to drive both of my cars back to back at the same event. S2K is definitely short wheelbase, about five or six hundred pounds lighter. So a lot more nimble. This course was very technical. There were a lot of slow corners. Um, a lot of understeer in the M3 until I adjusted some of the damping. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, on my first run, I set a relatively competitive lap, 52.7, um, to kind of have wife have a baseline of where she should be kind of getting to. Surprisingly, she got within like 0.2 seconds toward the end of the day in the S2K. So she did really well. I'm surprised this was her fourth autocross overall and the first time doing it in a manual car. Um, toward the end of the day, she also got comfortable enough to switch cars with me, which means that she actually drove the M3. I guess lucky for me, she stalled the car, which means that once she restarted, she didn't know that it has a DSC button, or basically traction stability control, so she didn't turn that off, so she was driving with it on the, for about an hour. Um, but did uh, relatively well, um, except for when she started burning uh, Tires, they were not tires, that was actually my clutch. I got a little bit upset about that, but you'll see the little clip of that. Um, toward the end of the day, she got really comfortable rotating that car. Um, trail braking really deep, uh, even counter steering, so I was super impressed. I'm obviously at the autocross, not really to compete or set times. I'm there to just uh, test some setups and uh, have fun and drift and burn off my tires because at the rate that we're driving these days, uh, the tires are going to expire before I get the thread down to uh, zero. So both of the cars are actually set up somewhat similarly from a point of view of having a stiffer front bar. Uh, both are running all leans. Uh, the M3 is running flat ride, which I know I haven't done a video on yet, but uh, the S2K is running the stock all leans uh, 10 and 8. Uh, spring rates, they're both running uh, stop deck 309 pads. Both are running uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and that's basically where the similarities end. S2K is definitely the go-kart-ish type of car, especially for the track setup that, uh, that we had this time. Um, super nimble, super easy to rotate. On the M3 I actually recently swapped out pads and rotors and I didn't have enough time to, uh, to bet in my brakes. So for the first about, I would say 75% of the, the day, um, didn't really have the brakes, but I was drifting most of the day in the beginning, especially anyway, um, toward the end, because a lot of people leave. It was basically an open session, like between two, 2 and 5 p.m. And you just go as many times as you can. And so, because you don't really get too much cool down, uh, and these laps were about um, 50, to, 50 to 55 seconds um, long, uh, the brakes finally bedded in, so uh, by the time my wife got into the M3, uh, she said, like, the brakes in this car are money in the M3. When I drove both cars, I was still able to post a slightly faster time, slightly faster time when I did uh, an actual, like, time run in the M3 than the S2K. From what I remember, nah, the timer wasn't working all the time, but from what I remember, it's actually less than a second on this course. But it is definitely a lot more of a handful to control. One is because of the body weight and the size of it, and two is because your right foot has a lot more power. I mean, that one is 240. This one is probably closer to, I want to say 375 or so. I do have headers tuned, you know, a little bit of E85. It was actually a lot of fun. So, enjoy the footage.